Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to Cutabo Space Program, where today we are taking a look at another fun mod, this time in the form of the Zero Point Inline Fairings mod, which is a parts pack being made by forum user Necrobones. And if we head right on into the VAB building, we will take a look at the parts that this adds in. Now, as you may have already guessed from the name, you know, zero point inline fairings, this adds fairings that can be used in line. It's kind of kind of a dead giveaway there. And if we go over to aerodynamics, you will see the variety of fairings that we have, all of these lovely things right in here, and it's it's quite an interesting mod. They, we have a lot of sizes. They uh, range from these small fairing bases here, which if we grab, hold on a moment, just a oh, smaller fuel tank for a size comparison. Yeah, that's the smallest fairing part that is available uh, in the uh, regular size. And then we go for larger ones from there. We've got this baby right here going a little bit wider. Then this flush one, which is similar in size, kind of in between these two size-wise, but uh, is more straight in its alignment rather than these more angled designs here, so for wider rocket bases. And then, of course, we've got up to the size 2 regular, which has is just getting larger and larger in size. And then all the way to the size 3 flush, which is similar to this size 2 flush, or size 1 flush, rather. Oh no, that is size 2, pardon me. Uh, but with these straight sides, just a much larger, larger size for your oversized rockets. Oh, they're wonderful and huge. But if we actually load up the all lengths short, is this one, I believe, correct? That has all of these various fairings actually in use. We start down here with the, oh boy, back over to aerodynamics with the uh, th size three flush short in line. Then we go up to the size two wide short in line, up to the then size two regular right here, the size two flush here, the size one wide, and then uh, topping it all off with the size one regular short fairing. Now this is of the short size. Each of these different width sizes then comes in three lengths. This being the short, then we have the medium and the long in line or wide or whichever one you want to go with, which if we load up the all lengths small, you'll be able to see from the small size fairings, the size one regulars, we have the long length, the medium length, and the short length up top. And again, for some comparison, let's just grab a regular solid rocket booster. You can see that is the height of it against the short. And if we come down here with the medium, basically it could stack two of these in there and you could probably stack about three of these inside of the long. And that is pretty much on par for each of the sizes. They just keep getting wider and taller which is quite fun. Now you may be asking yourself, well, why do we need all these sizes of fairings when you have things like procedural fairings that already exist in the game, which allows you to just make whatever size you want? Now, I, I, that's a very, very good question. <laughs> uh, and personally, I prefer these over the procedural of fairings because one of the fun things with this one, and this mod, and my, my absolute favorite part about it, is it uses the stock code for fairings, whereas the procedural fairings, it's its whole own code that can cause issues. I personally have run into a lot of issues with procedural fairing, not wanting to play well with other things, and also occasionally it has caused my game to crash. These are essentially stock. They use the exact same code for the fairings, that the engines do. Like if we place a, uh, oh boy, oh my, we're actually gonna have to take some of these things off to actually do this correctly. If we just pop a fuel tank right here, then an engine, we'll just grab this one. There we go, we get those fairings that the game has built in for the engines. And these use that exact same code for creating the fairings. So if we go back 
to the aerodynamics tab and grab these nose cones, which I forgot to point out. There are size one and size two regular and wide cones for, you know, to make four different cones to be used in this uh, mod that you can use for those various sizes. You just pop that and it creates the fairings just like it does for the engines. So it's bas it's using the same built-in code that is already exists in the game, which means I'm not gonna say it won't have any conflicts, cause who knows, something could be strange, but you shouldn't get any mod conflicts whatsoever with this code because it's the code from the game itself. And then you may also be asking, well, what about things like KW Rocketry that adds in really, really nice looking fairings? Well, the problem with those is they add up to the part count because a lot of different, there are a lot of different part mods that add fairings into the game. And a lot of them that I've seen personally, you have to add each of the fairings individually, which make, means you have a lot of parts to add on to your potentially already large part count for your various crafts. This, it's one part, this base that you grab here, and then whichever you put on the other end, oh, hold on, there we go. So you get four, well, technically five parts out of it, the four fairings that make up the structure of this and the base, all counting as one part. So it helps with, uh, you know, your more complicated vessels. And also, not only that, it does have the nice little flags that you can put on it. That's just a nice little touch that I like. And yeah, it's it may not be as complex and customizable as procedural fairings, and it may not look as good as KW Rocketry's fairings, but it's a simple system that I personally prefer because it feels like it should be a part of the game. These fairings, they're stock-like. They're very nice, and between all of the sizes to help with uh, performance, all, no matter what size or length of the fairings you use, there are only three textures being used. There is a texture for the base, there is a texture for the fairing, and there is a texture for these nose cones. So it, it really does help with streamlining things and making sure that uh, this mod uses as little memory as possible to allow you to have all these fun fairings. And I, I like that. I, I, I much prefer this over any of the other fairing mods that I have seen in the game because it's good for performance, it's easy to use in my opinion, and it looks stock alike. Now, as for the use of these, let's just uh, sort of create a new ship here real quick, and I'll just briefly go over with you how you need to use these fairings. So if we have, a, say, a Stay Put Nick, grab that as your capsule, and say we want to put that inside of a fairing. I don't know why you would, but hey, I'm not judging. You just need to then go with, oh my, we need to add first a decoupler. Basically what you need to do anytime you're building something that you want to put inside the fairings, build your thing first. So if you want to put in a satellite inside of a fairing, build the satellite first. That, that is the best way to go about things. Build it first, then add your decoupler. Because, of course, well, you need to be able to release it from the ship itself. Then go into aerodynamics and grab whichever one of these fairings you want. Say a gigantic one for this tiny little thing. There we go. Then you put it on, and that basically serves as the base. This base structure here will then go down to the rest of your rocket. And you separate from the rest of your rocket from here. This decoupler or separatron or whatever you want to use inside of it. And then you either add a nose cone up to the top up here, or whichever other thing you want to do. Say, remember, these are in line. So if you want, for some reason, to continue building your rocket up, you can, if you so desire. If we want to put a fuel tank up at the top of this thing, we can. Now we have a rocket down here, something in this gigantic fairing, and then it goes up from there. It's very, very cool like that. So you don't have to use the nose cones if, say, you want to have multiple fairings. I mean, you saw that earlier with the uh, all sizes one. We just had fairing on top of fairing on top of fairing. And it's uh, all perfectly usable. If we actually load that one up again, oh god, that was the all sizes short. There we are. 
and then go to launch. I did this earlier out of curiosity, and I don't know why, but it amuses me to all hell, so I'll show you here. They function just like any other part with their separating. You just change them in their order, and uh, we can start from the top here and just launch the fairings. Bam, they fall. And then the next. Oh boy, we have explosions. And then the next going on downwards. And yeah, they come apart quite nicely. Oh, though that one did not come apart nearly as well as I had hoped. Oh, uh, see, this is the problem with stacking fairings on top of one another. It may not come apart as you wish. Oh, there it goes. It just had to fall apart a bit. And then the final one at the bottom. <laughs> Here we go. We just have a whole uh, pile of fairings now on the launch pad. Now, another fun part about this mod, unlike some of the others, I believe KW Rocketry, since it, it is individual fairing parts, oh yeah, correct me if I'm wrong on this, uh, but since they are individual parts, they are persistent, so they act as debris up in space. Since these work as the, in, like the stock engine fairings do, these fairings, all these little bits and pieces that fell all around here, they will disappear eventually. They will not cause debris. Now these bases, these bases will because they are a part just like anything else on your rocket. But these fairings won't. As you can notice, you know, we get the green highlight on this base and which is saying on there debris in very tiny gray letters. But all of these, we can't click on them and they do not count as debris and they will just disappear in time, which is useful. Now, I did, let's actually go revert space flight, yes, vehicle assembly building. I did want to show off one of these in flight, so I just kind of made a quick, crappy little, uh, rocket earlier. Oh god, what did I name it? Oh, was it medium launch? I think it was medium launch. It was! Okay, I actually remembered. Now, it's the size one with uh, medium length and a nose cone on top, one of the nose cones that comes with the mod and if we just go to launch this you can see how these separate uh, in a launch environment rather than just falling down from a tower of rocket though a tower of rocket is fun now if we just sort of fly up into the air I'm gonna angle it a little bit I don't know why but I just feel like that's a thing to do and oh my poor Jebediah now, uh, <laughs> uh, we have a uh, command capsule inside the fairings. Again, like with the uh, Stay Putnik we had earlier, I don't know why I put it in there, but I just felt like, yeah, what the heck, it'd be fun. There we go, our engines are almost out. So we can then separate the fairings. Oh boy, that was unexpected. I did not expect them to launch into space further. Huh. Though if we separate the command pod, it'll probably do the same thing, so it's probably because of the force. The, uh, those kept going at uh, the speed that they were traveling at when releasing when we are slowing down. But uh, there we go, we'll release the command pod and we did fly up a little bit as well. And uh, yeah, that's easy separation. That's how they work in game. Now of course you'll probably put something far more complicated like a satellite or potentially a rover or something along those lines inside of your fairings rather than just a simple little command pod. But you know what? It's fun either way. Uh, but yeah, I'm really enjoying these fairings. They're easy to use. They are stock-like, so they're, they are they feel like they should be a part of the game, and I, I love that. And they it does also cooperate with other mods, such as Tweak Scale. So if you do want, if you like the look of the size ones, but you want to make it larger or smaller, you can with the Tweak Scale mod. That is an option. And yeah, I, I'm really enjoying this fairings mod. I quite like it. It adds in something into the game that I think should have already been there. And I think it's a very KSP way of doing it. Unlike something like procedural fairings, which is, like I said, I've had troubles with it. You may not. You may love procedural fairings and have at it because, well, it is a pretty cool mod. Uh, but when it comes to fairings, personally, I'm, I'm really preferring this zero point in line fairing system. And uh, yeah, if you would like to check it out for yourself, uh, you can of course follow the link in the description as always. And uh, yeah, I hope you have enjoyed 
this episode, and of course that you come back for the next when we'll be looking at hopefully another fun mod. But until then, thank you for watching, my friends, and as always, have a good one. <laughs>